Thanks, Ricky. Now, how many of you guys wanted to try the new Popeye's chicken sandwich, but you just couldn't because the stores were out of stock? Well, a man in Tennessee is now suing the company, seeking 5,000 bucks in damages, is what he's calling it because of this. He's accusing Popeye's of false advertising, deceptive business practices, and causing him to waste countless time driving to and from local chains to find the sandwich. Sometimes it's, the struggle is so real when it comes to food, right? He told the Times Free Press, quote, I just can't get happy. I have this sandwich on my mind, and I can't think straight. Me too. All right, so Target and Walmart are doing their part to keep car seats out of landfills. Interesting, right? Well, the two retailers are holding in-store trade-in events. So basically, parents, you can just go recycle your old car seat. Target event starts uh, September 3rd through September 13th. Walmart kicks off their event on September 16th through the 30th. And meanwhile, the ATM, happy birthday, ATM, 50 years old. Man, the, this Labor Day will mark the 50th anniversary of the money dispenser in the US and the automated teller machine made its American debut at a chemical bank in Long Island on September 2nd. That was back in 1969. Happy birthday, ATM. Now, the Texas Department of Public Safety, as they head into the Labor Day weekend, they're reminding all of us, and especially drivers, to be safe on the road and to exercise caution. Basically, just be smart as the holiday travel ramps up. Now, the Texas Highway Patrol will be increasing enforcement starting today, and they'll end on Monday. But the troopers will be looking for drivers who violate the law, and that's including not adhering to move over, slow down, failing to wear seatbelts, speeding driving while intoxicated, all those laws we all know, and you just make sure you're safe. That's all for today's breakdown.